The development of weed resistance to glyphosate herbicide has forced cotton farmers to adopt new weed control strategies. Dr. Alan York discusses how farmers in his state of North Carolina found themselves battling herbicide resistance after years of relatively easy weed control. Well, we were doing fine with Palmer Amaranth once Roundup Ready came out. Uh, many of us thought we had died and gone to heaven because we had been fighting it tooth and nail. And all of a sudden, here was this technology that just solved all of our problems. And it, life was good for a while. We should have been smart enough to understand that, you know, we're going down the wrong path here, depending entirely on Roundup. But it worked so good, we couldn't stand it. Well, anyway, we got into resistance. And we in North Carolina picked it up in the fall of 2005. Actually, we know it had been here longer than that. That's the first time it got bad enough to come to our attention. But what has it done to our farming systems? It's just about turned them on their head. Uh, we had pretty much gotten away, almost totally away from soil applied herbicides. We were going strictly post-emergence. We were avoiding injury problems. We were avoiding carryover problems. Uh, we were getting great control, but now we've had to go back. We're now back to recommending good pre-plant pre-herbicides on everything. We're talking about adding additional herbicides, even if we're using Roundup, additional herbicides mixed with a Roundup post-emergence. In the case of cotton, we're still strongly promoting lay-by type applications. So we're continuing to put more and more residual herbicides and we're trying to overlap those residuals. What we're trying to do by overlapping the residuals is we don't want a hole in there you know, we, we say I put out one herbicide and I get this level of control, but over time it dissipates. Before it dissipates to a non-lethal level, I want to put another one out. Go down the season a little bit. When it runs out, I put another one so that I never have a point in there, at least prior to canopy closure, where I don't have residual herbicide on the ground. If I've got Roundup resistant Palmer and I'm trying to manage with Roundup, if it ever gets out of the ground, I've missed it.